Well, here we are, everybody. Uh, I'm back at my lathe, my Marford lathe. Uh, I explained to you in my last video uh, that I was going to attempt to try to rewind a magneto, a spare magneto, which, which I've got with my motorbike. Um, I don't profess to be an expert at this, and I'm on a, I'm on a very steep learning curve, and uh, a lot of trial and error involved. But what I've done, I've, I've stripped the magneto down, I've stripped the armature down, took the secondary windings off, and uh, what I'm doing now, I've, I've just spent the last few days making a fixture for my Myford lathe, as you can see there. And I'll explain this to you before I set the lathe going, uh, so we can uh, get a chance to understand where any noise going off in background. Um, so what I've done this last few days, I've, I've took, my, took my tool post off and I've made an aluminium plate to fit it. Here we are. And on that aluminium plate, it's on the compound slide obviously, on, on the aluminium plate I've made this wooden frame out of plywood. Uh, and what that cons consists of is just three sides, really. I've had to experiment with the heights. As you can see, all these are different holes in it. So I think I've got it running OK now. Uh, but all I've got in it at the moment is a reel of cotton as a test run, for a test run. So I'm, I'm winding cotton at the moment. So what happens here is, uh, at the back of the box, frame, whatever you want to call it, I've made a, an appropriate spindle for the wire to run in. In my case, I've got a spool of cotton in at the moment, so it's running on nylon bushes, so it's nice and free, and I've made it fairly accurate, so it's it's running all running true. Uh, and then what happens is, uh, from the reel, the wire comes up into this wooden, I'm calling it a friction peg. What it is, it's a, a tapered piece of wood cut in half with felt liners on the faces. And what happens is it presses into this washer, which is fixed to the top spindle here on an arm. And you can press the wooden wedge in for more tension or release tension by just pressing it back out a bit. And that's hopefully to get tension set for different different strengths of wires. Well that's my plan anyway. And then from the from the top of the wedge where it, the friction wedge where the wire comes out, in my case cotton at the moment, it goes onto this pulley. It's a nylon pulley and it's free running. Uh, and you put your wire two or three turns around this pulley and then it exits the pulley and comes back down in a vertical plane sort of vertical anyway uh, into this copper tube which I've bent here and that that copper tube it could I suppose it could be another pulley in reality but I've made it out of a copper tube uh, these ideas I've put together with, with different ideas from other people that's done coil winding on eBay. So it's, it's a mixture really of everything, just so it's adapted to my Myford lathe. Uh, and what happens, the, the wire then goes into this copper tube, which is bent, not, not at right angles, at an angle to suit the vertical and the horizontal plane. And you want to make sure that this tube is bent as exact as possible, so the, the wire doesn't rub on the edge of the tube and it enters it cleanly and then it exits cleanly and on the exit point I've made this bracket up, the spindle which is adjustable in uh, left and right positions to get it in the middle of your, in the middle of your spool uh, where the copper tube ends I've put this adapter on and I've made these nylon uh, tips threaded at one end with an appropriate hole to suit the size of the wire, if you can see that. So at the moment I've got two of them, one for my primary wire and one for my secondary wire. Now the primary wire is not going to be a problem because it's thick and there's not many turns. But this secondary wire, 
is very very thin it's thinner than this cotton and it's five times less stronger than this cotton because I've had it on a on a tension testing machine that I've made so it's five times weaker than the cotton but what I'm doing now I'm just trying the cotton from the spool onto another spool and then what happens then as it end, as it exits exits the tip it comes onto the spool now as your spindles turning on your lathe you've got your lead screw engaged and your feed rate set to an appropriate feed for the diameter of the wire and what you do you put your you engage your, your lead screw leave that engaged all the time and then to reverse it you use your tumbler mechanism on back at lathe to reverse your traverse one way and other way if you understand what I'm saying and then on this secondary winding there's going to be well from what I can gather from all information that I've gathered 11,000 turns of wire and each layer is going to have insulation in between um, so I've got to put 11,000 turns on and to make sure I get near as damn it to that I've adapted this counter onto the spindle uh, not the spindle onto the drive plate it's on a I've made an aluminium bracket that comes off a gearbox so the uh, it's just a cheap counter I got off eBay they're only a couple of pounds uh, that's fastened to this bracket and if you can see down there that's the mechanism that it puts the revolutions on with and what I've done I've uh, made a cam fastened it to this dry plate and as it goes round as you can see coming around now it just knocks a knocks a turn on and counts for me so hopefully that's working okay now so what I'll do now I think I've explained everything I'll, I'll put lathe on and while lathe is running there'll be a bit of noise obviously and I'll, I'll ex try and explain everything again while it's running through its procedure so here we go then power on and I've got my lathe set at the moment at the slowest speed in the back gear so it's uh, well it's, it's simple to, to see if everything's working out as it should be obviously I could speed that up the more efficient I get that's the word like I say I'm not an expert at this I'm just a novice and I'm on a, on a steep learning curve so well here we go then I'll, I'll set the laser in there and I'll explain everything so that clicking's counter here's my table aluminium here's my frame here's the spool of wire which is cotton in my case and uh, it's winding the spool of wire now and it's coming up into this wedge which I've split in half and I've put um, felt liner on faces and it pushes into this washer so you can have more friction or less friction to suit the type of wire and that's attached to an arm which is attached to this spindle and then on this spindle you've got your pulley so the wires come in through the friction uh, wedge couple of turns around the pulley then it exits the pulley couple of turns around then it exits from this vertical position into this copper transfer tube which I've made and bent and that enters that tube in a nice smacking centre tube so it's a nice entry and don't rub and then it comes through the tube through the nozzle appropriate tip which are interchangeable and then it runs onto the spool and at the moment we're travelling towards the chuck so it's coming up to the end of its travel now on the spool as you can see you can see and what I'm going to do now, I'm going to adjust the tumbler into the opposite direction and now the lathe is going to feed this way towards the tailstock and put another layer of wire on 
or cotton in my case because I'm just testing with a, a spool of cotton at the moment and um, any discrepancies in the feed rate if it's going a bit too fast or a little bit too slow you can compensate it with compound slide now I don't envisage, envisage having to do that because I'm I'm experimenting with feed rates uh, but anyway after each layer of wire that's gone on I've got to stop the layer anyway to put a layer of insulation on when the armature's in let that um, insulation dry and then uh, start the light start another layer then so I'll be doing one layer one layer at a time then insulation and one layer back until I've got I don't know how many layers probably 20 odd layers because I've got to put 11,000 turns on this and if you can see my counter clicking away the cam comes round off me off my dry plate, clicks the knob on the counter and puts a, a revolution on. You can see that working there. I think you can just see it. So that's where I'm up to at the moment and like I said I don't profess to be an expert at this, I'm just a novice but I've always wanted to buy to do to do with this winding. So I thought this winter um, I'd set to and, and make everything necessary to do it. Now, I may fail, I may succeed. That's left to be seen. So I'll just get the old setup and pan out so you can see the lay when it's set up. It's pretty compact really. Uh, there we are. And like I said, I'm, a, I'm only running at the slowest speed, but that's that's not important at the moment uh, it's coming up to the other end of the spool now the feed the wire feed as you can see um, there's the wedge there's the top pulley so I think I'm at a point now where I've just got to try the wire because to be honest the wire I'm using is five times more strong than this cotton it's really really fine wire so I'm hoping this this friction wedge will be able to be adjusted just enough to keep the right amount of tension on the wire as you can see here I'm pressing the the cotton and you can see the tension on it and hopefully that's what will happen with the wire when I get the proper things don't always go to plan I know but watch this space and I'll uh, I'll update you on this if I'm successful anyway thanks for watching